Hello, and welcome to something that, if you're new to my channel, might seem like a strange addition to my recent content. Um, but if you've been watching me for a while, it's something that you may be very familiar with. And that is a game called Feather. Uh, now, I abandoned making this kind of video for a while. Um, and it's not really the kind of thing I make usually. But if you know my history with this game, you know that I've been following it since its prototype all the way through to its commercial release and have made a video pretty much at every major update that the game's had. And surprisingly, the game has just had another major update. So being such a fan of the game and being such a, you know, die-hard observer of its development and considering that I got the game for free when it first came out from the developers, which was very kind, I felt it my due, diligen due diligence to come back and uh, just make a short video uh, looking at uh, all the updates with the recent major update. Um, now the last update was a short one with a few bug fixes in November of 2020, so about a year ago. So it's been a year since it's been updated, and because of that I thought, oh, the game's done. Um, you know, they're not adding any more to it. Um, I believe the prototype was about four or five years ago now, actually, and the full release game has been out since 2019, and the last update was the one that added uh, different skins for birds, uh, it updated, um, I think it's the one that added community play, so I don't think you'll see it in this one, and I'll explain why in a little bit, but uh, they added a feature where you can go into random worlds with random strangers, and you'll see other birds flying around, and you can call to them like that and just fly around with them, which was really cool. Uh, this major update is actually community focused as well and this gives you the option to input room codes so you can actually play with specific friends and specific people so if you go to the options menu every room gets a room code like that and then all you have to do is share it with you know whoever else wants to play and then you can all hop into the same room uh, actually funny story when I hopped into this game to record just now I had to input a custom room code because the random one it dropped me into was so busy um, uh, the public room that the birds were just making too much noise for me to concentrate um, everyone was just like spamming their button like that uh, but that's nice it's nice to see that there's actually a huge player base because it was like a full room and everyone was flying around and having fun uh, I imagine a lot of people have hopped back in because there's been a major update, so that's nice to see. Um, and that's that's really the biggest change, well the second biggest change uh, is the fact that there's now room codes, so you can actually hop into this with friends and it's something to just play and do um, while you're over Discord or something like that if you don't want to pay attention too hard to a game and you're having chats but you also still want to fiddle on something and just play something together I think it's a really good uh, game for that kind of thing and they've given you the allowance uh, to do that with the addition of room codes so I think that was a really nice feature to add um, now the biggest feature I think actually got added before now and I completely blanked on it. I think this got added when new skins got added and I just did not find it in that video I made but there is actually a second island which I'd heard rumours of. I'd heard rumours of a second island and I just I never never found it. Uh, I cheated a little bit and I watched someone Jesus I watched someone find it so I'm going to go find it well, I cannot get through this small gap. There we go. Uh, so while I'm finding it, if anyone is new to this game, or anyone has not seen this game before, this is really less of a game 
a more of a chill out experience. Uh, there is little secrets and little fun things to do and find around this island, but what you've seen so far is effectively the extent of the gameplay. You're just a bird and you fly around this island and you just, you can do little tricks and you can speak and you can get faster, you can get slower and you can find other birds to fly around with, but that is it. There's no story, there's no goal progression, there's no upgrades. It's purely here uh, for you to enjoy and relax to. And I think I even said this when the game came out in my review of it on Steam, but there aren't enough games like that. Oh, here we go. So you keep flying through these rings and it activates this portal and then you get teleported to a second island. I do find that a bit weird. It's a shame that the second island isn't kind of just connected to the first. But look at this. A whole new island. Which I never found. Brilliant. You do have to fly through those rings in sequence. Um, and I tend to be a bit random with my flying, so that's pretty much why I never found it. But there's this whole other second island. Now along with the island and the room codes, they have also added, let me find it here, they've added a couple of interactables. There's five new bird skins, which is a lot, because I think there's only five or six on the original island to begin with. What the hell is happening there? Oh, they're popping bubbles. This is, this is the fun thing to do and find, I think, in this game, is all the different types of biome reactions, I guess you'd call them. Kind of like the geyser, kind of like the snow. Uh, can I pop it? Yeah, I can. That's cool. And kind of like the ice crystals you can chime against in the ice caverns, which I looked at in my last video. Uh, so there's five new bird skins. And they've also made it, this is the default one, which I believe is a sparrow. Uh, they've made it so they're not just skins anymore. They have different sizes and shapes. They fly at different speeds. And I believe, because I was playing as the pigeon earlier, I believe they fly differently. Like, they look different in the way that that bird would fly. The pigeon was very bobby. So there's a lot of, like, little quality life changes and details added to the birds you can play as. And there's also one new track added by the composer, who I have praised time and time again, because I've said it in every single video of this game, and I will say it again. Uh, this game has one of the best video game soundtracks I've ever heard. And even if you don't buy the game, because it's not your kind of thing, you can buy the soundtrack, and... Oh, here we go. That's a new skin. Looks like a little phoenix. Or it might just be a red variant of the sparrow. Cool. Um, you can just buy the soundtrack. I will put the link in the description. I think it's only like three or four pounds, and it's it's like fifteen tracks, and it's great relaxation music. It's great study music. It is such a fantastically composed um, soundtrack. There's one song in there that sounds like dangerously lawsuit close to Hoppy Pala. <laughs> But it's actually a better version of Harpy Polo, so I actually don't care. So the way you activate songs is you fly through these circular podiums. And that should launch up. There we go. You might not be able to hear it very well with my microphone balancing, but... Um, that's how you activate songs. I wonder if these got added to the SoundCloud download, actually for the album. I'll have to check because I, I have a I have the key for that having bought it. I can already tell this is a really nice track. So there's lots of little I'm guessing these are gonna bong. Yeah bong! Nice. Oh nice. Uh, there's lots of, little, lots of little environmental interactions like that and that's pretty much the extent of like the secrets that you will find is just fun things to interact with. Um, I really like the second island. 
for all deserty. Yeah, like I said, I played this when it came out, and it was called Fruits of a Feather, and it was pretty much the way the first island is, but a bit smaller. And it didn't have birds, it didn't have the ability to change tracks, it certainly didn't have a second island. I did see another skin change that I've lost. So the reason you're not seeing any oh damn any other birds right now is because I input a custom room code and it sort of kicked me into a what I would guess is like a private session. Which is pretty cool. Although I would never really see a reason to have a private session most of the time. There's a very specific instance where I Oh a canary. Or a budgie, rather. So yeah, this looks a lot like the pigeon I was playing as, and it flies a lot like it. So I think the second island is mostly reskins of the first island, but they have changed the first island's birds up in terms of shape and scale, which is cool. Um, yeah, the only reason I had to find a private match, as I say, is because of background noise, but... I don't think there's ever a reason not to have other birds flying around. Ah. <laughs> I think the... Oh. Oh, cool. Cockatoo. I think the nature of the game f facilitates a good community. You know what I mean? How can you be toxic when... There's no goal. How can you ruin someone's play session when you've got like four buttons? <laughs> so this is actually huge. This is bigger than the first island. So I might actually not get round to finding everything. <gasps> Another skin. But I did want to sort of keep my feather playlist updated. But this game is on sale right now, which is why another reason I felt compelled to make the video was to call attention to the sale. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning. Jesus Christ. It's an underwater forest. Uh, it's only £3. £3.60. I don't know what that translates to in dollars. Is that... <gasps> no way! That's awesome! It's a little woodpecker. What happens if I... Oh. <gasps> you can knock down pine cones! I don't know what it translates to in dollars, but that's still quite a steal. Because uh, the, one, the one negative I've seen in reviews in Steam is people buy this game and they're like, there's nothing to do after half an hour. I think it's the issue that people bought it and expected a game. They expected something like Air, Memories of Old, or Inner Space, or something like that. Which are two other flying indie games with very similar um, aesthetic, but they have goals and a story. Um, and it's not that at all. Um, So I definitely, you know, wouldn't go into this game expecting a game. Just something to mill around on, something to relax to. Kind of an interactive lo-fi simulator, I guess. Which I actually found a game... Well, again, I say a game. Um, I found something on Steam today that is basically the lo-fi hip-hop tunes thing with interactive elements, where you can change the weather and the lighting, but it's also just background lo-fi songs, and you can set a timer on, a, on tasks, like if you want to get writing and stuff done, so that's pretty cool, that's free. And it's the same kind of thing where it's not really a game, 
It's more of an atmosphere builder. What? Oh, I don't know if I can... I was going to say, I don't know if I can touch this, but there's no death in this game, so obviously I can. Ooh. Cool. It also seems like there's, there's way more songs and skins here than I was expecting. Um, so I think I'm going to leave some of it for those interested in playing who like what they've seen to maybe pick it up as I say it's on sale um, and just have a little journey about and uh, you know if you're ever in a match or if I'm ever streaming I might play this and it gives me the chance to drop in a room code and have some people join in I think it's a really good feature uh, to add. I think it'd be really good for, say, if you were... I mentioned, like, Discord chat earlier. But say if you had, like, a podcast with some friends over, over something like Discord. And you were recording, but you needed background visual noise for if you were uploading it as a video to YouTube as well. I think it really works for that, especially if it's, you know, a relaxing podcast in terms of subjects thank you if you've watched like I say I know it's, it's a different kind of video to what I've been uploading recently I say recently I mean the last few uploads not you know recently time wise um, but I do thank you very much and that's pretty much all I have to say I'll leave you with some more chill fly about, just for atmosphere's sake. But other than that, I'll see you in whatever video I make next. Thank you for watching.
Thank you. 